Greetings, people of the internet. More specifically, those of you watching this video, this is another episode of Casual Check. Today's game is Blood of Old. And as you can see, this game is in alpha version 6. 7's on the way, I think. Should be released middle or early February, from what I've read. And as you, as you can pretty much guess by alpha version 6, this game is in early access. So, you know, buyer beware? I don't know. Um, this is the special that I was speaking of, like, talking about the last, uh, Rocket League episode, I think, where instead of doing the casual check over complete only games that I enjoy, not to go, like, bagging on these games, but, uh, I will probably be bagging on a lot of these games, I got a 10 random Steam Key bundle from G2A for, like, $5, which, come to think of, it's a pretty good deal, even if the games aren't, like, of platinum quality, they're still... There's some diamonds that you can get in there. I've already found one that I like enough. And this is going to be a 10-week series because i got 10 keys. I'm going to do one per week. Try to, at least I said this was going to come out Friday, and it's Saturday going into Sunday. But in fairness, it's still only a day late because I was going to do a Friday coming into Saturday. So get over it. I'm kidding. I'm upset with myself, too. I hurt. I cried last night for four hours. Actually, I played video games with friends until, like two in the morning because I'm a terrible man who doesn't care about work but blood of old here is certainly an interesting game I'm not sure how to describe it it's a city builder mixed with a third person sword fighter and we might as well go ahead and get into it it does say override old saves I did try this out for about 14 minutes according to steam and five of that was probably talking to my friend tutorial basic movement, basic controls, and this is the melee controls. I want to call attention to this left mouse button standard, middle mouse button right. The only one I can get to work reliably is right click to block. And uh, these, this one right here, it'll mess you up in a way I'll show you later. And first of all, I don't know if you'd notice this the little little pointer right there I don't know if it's because of my the way I've got my window set up but it is not anywhere near the center of the screen and it's very disorienting actually I'm almost for sure that it's because of my window region but nonetheless that shouldn't happen and I'm actually pressing E to pick up this item as it is telling me oh I'm sorry I, I'm apparently being told to pick up the world I cannot pick up items because my screen region is set up so this is this is fantastic oh my goodness what is going on I'll be right back I have some screen regions to fix alright I should have it fixed right now hopefully at least I did some things I actually had to cut off the bottom of the screen just a little bit like Here's where the end of where you can see, and now I'm there. Like, um, it's probably a good little bit that I had to cut out. Let's see if I can pick things up now. Press E to pick up item. No. Okay, so maybe I have just found a bug. Oh, my, nope, I picked up the apple. Please, God. And I picked up the key. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, I went ahead and skipped over it. If you walk up to this door... It'll say, you must find a key to open. As you can see, I had a, the key was here. It took me like five minutes to find that. I'm not proud that it took me five minutes to find that, but it took me five minutes to find that. Also, you may notice, there's no music, so it's going to be a little bit awkward, this video. There's no option to toggle the volume. So you're just stuck with this blasting noise. And I would rather not be stuck with a blasting noise. This door opens so slow. The game itself, honestly, the idea shows promise. You explore, do adventures, complete quests to get gold. And that gold you earn, you can use to upgrade a town. Like, a, f a fleshed out town from what the person doing the updates on the person's blog, which is a great sentence to say, they, they're really going to flesh it out. So, and I hope they do, because that'd be great. And honestly, I hope I can come back to this game later and be like, wow, they really made this into a great game. But as of now, I can't say this game's great. Now, after you leave there, the first thing you gotta do, 
And I don't know if you noticed. Actually, can you see that? Excuse me a moment. Ah, you can. Ah, you kind of can. Alright, one of the things in the menu, as you saw, was you could press 1 to toggle the mouse. Oh, look, here's my mouse. Oh, look, it's gone. Oh, look, here it is. Oh, look, it's gone. I'm not sure what that's for. I think that's to have with to ease with picking things up, honestly. Which I'm about to test right now because I actually didn't think about that until now. That's a good, uh, pretty good observation. Well, uh, I'll show you in just a second how that doesn't really work. Let me try. I'm not pressing the one key. Closer, maybe? E. Violet seemed to work fine. I don't know if it did, but it seemed to. I gotta go over to I. Equip your rusty sword and rusty shield. Rusty Shackleford. Oh yeah, when you're in this menu and you press escape, it brings up that menu. So you have to actually go and press I again, which is not a big deal, but it's not what I expected. Oh, wonderful. I've made a drastic mistake. Remember how left-clicking was the light attack? Well, uh, there's one light attack off my stamina. There's another. Notice how there's no animation. How, like, I've lost that much stamina from probably four attacks. Which, I know what you're thinking. That's, uh, that's a couple of attacks. That's sure to do some damage. Well, uh, let's walk up, actually. He's not. I thought there was one closer. Let's talk about to uh, our little friend over here. Side note, look at how the stamina is not regenerating at all. That's fun. I'm going to eat an apple real quick because I can. Also, I wanted to see if it restored your stamina, and it does not. So stamina, as of now, is an extremely limited resource that I do not have. Now, a gentleman with a skull on his head is going to rush me. He's going to attack, and then I will click attack. I did 20 damage. There's, he has 200 hit points. The first enemy in the game has 200 hit points. That takes 10 attacks. Oh look, I missed an attack somehow. Oh, I missed another one. And I missed another one. And I, oh, I actually hit that one. And now I don't have enough stamina to attack. Also, how you guys doing? You having a good time? I'm having a good time. He's having a good time. The bandit's having a good time. We're all having a good time. No threats here. We've made peace. We've taken back the village with our charisma skill that doesn't exist. Yeah, sometimes they just don't attack. Yeah. 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 Whoo. Oh, there she blows. Alright. I wanted to show this one off especially. I don't know. See on your right side of your screen there, there's the tiny little arrow barely see it. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is that? That is the option to adjust my screen region. In game, as I play, if I look right and click, I'm changing my screen region to fly out to the right. Not screen region. Window size. Well, he decided to attack me. Did he take damage? No. Heavy attack. No, I don't have nearly enough stamina for that. I can only, I can only imagine how much stamina that takes. We're just having a good time. I'm just going to lead him back to my old prison cell. And this is where I grew up. It's not much, but I mean, it has a stool. Just leave. Oh, oh, well, I've destroyed the video because I was looking left. Also, that's right. I don't want to say left before. Looking left, trying to click on something, and I dragged the window. That is a problem. Oh, yeah, you are you can do damage just by walking into them, I think sometimes yeah but like why is the why oh my god that wrecks them also you see how it says um enemy armor absorb the attack that can happen on the attacks that cost most of your stamina not most but a good chunk of your stamina which to me is a little bit stupid so you know what I'm actually going to clear out this camp because I've never... There's nothing in that chest. At least there wasn't the last time I played this game. And I don't know if I'll be able to open it because screen regions are weird. Yeah, you found nothing. Okay. I'm just going to go and run up and kill this guy by walking into him for a little while. I mean, I like the swords. How like have just have damage boxes on them passively. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. But the execution is what really does it for me. It's It's odd. 
And blocking seems to be your biggest attack in a weird way because you just walk into them as much as you can. Kind of do this little thing, like maybe mill, and then just block whenever they start to attack. Like, it's certainly fun. Also, I'm almost dead, and I don't really know how because he hasn't been attacking. Then again, I am just walking into his sword, or he, I'm, he's walking into my sword, so it's very possible that I'm about to walk into his the whole time, too. So, I mean, you can't really be upset, can you? Oh, it looks like it's best to kind of walk into them from the right. Good note. Also, I keep putting, like, almost full in screen region, and it's driving me insane. Back to, like, the core asset of this game, though. Like, the core, not asset, but idea of this game where you build your own city. I haven't got to that part because I've been too frustrated to get past this part. So this is actually a monumental achievement for me. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm I'm pretty jumpy. It's weird. I like I'm I'm oddly jumpy for a teenage boy who doesn't care if he lives or dies. It's pretty scra Oh, and I've died. This is the death screen. You are dead. Straight to the point, I do appreciate that. I really like loading screens that literally just say you're dead and give you the option to continue or whatever. I think that's funny. But here's this game. This is where I'm going to wrap it up because honestly, the game in the condition it's in right now, I can't play for longer than five minutes at a time, it feels. I like the idea. I really do. I like the swords and shield thing I always have. And I like city builders too, so this one seems like a very nice fit for me. The only thing, it needs a ton of work. And honestly, I will revisit this game. I will. A couple months time maybe, a couple years time even. Probably a couple months just to see what's going on. I'll keep up with the um, updates too, and if there's any significant updates, I'll make another video. But, as of now, I can't see myself playing this game. But in the future, I really do think I can see myself playing this game. Which is fantastic, fantastic. The person, like I said, it seems really enthusiastic about this game. They seem really excited about this game. They seem really hopeful for it. And honestly, I, ho I, do, I do hope that this game can become a, a really, really, really good game. I do. If not only because I want to be able to go in a den, kill a bunch of bandits, and then have everyone love me in my town because I just built a new schoolhouse with that money. You know what I mean? It's really good thinking about it like that, but I don't see myself playing up until that point as of now. That being said, I just closed the game. When you click exit, it closes the game. It does not bring you to the main menu. I was not aware. Well, while we're staring at this black screen here, uh, thanks for joining me for this first episode. The next ones after this will probably be slightly better because they'll have some form of music, hopefully, and it won't just be my beautiful ums and ahs. But for me and Blood of Old, a game that I really hope does improve because it's got a, such a nice concept. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for the next one, and especially the next special episode of A Casual Check. Thanks for watching. And have a good night.